Utah farmers are turning to alternative crops to save water and help pay the bills. New specialist Shelby Lofton introduces us to people digging deep to see if different plants will hold up. You want to grow as much as you can and outcompete the weeds. This flower farm in Kanab wasn't always in bloom. It was historically uh, irrigated alfalfa. Loretta Clayson are just babies and her here. husband bought the abandoned land and transformed it into Journey Farm. Flowers make people happy. Clayson says it brings in a steady income, but it's labor intensive. I think some people have the fantasy that flower farming is skipping through fields and fields of blossoms in your flowy white dress, and that doesn't stack up to when you're out here hand weeding in 110 degree heat. She relies on drip irrigation to keep her plants alive. The efficiency of putting water in the root zone right next to the plant where they need it. Uh, very little evaporation. The flower farmer will tell you she had to experiment to get this many kinds of flowers to grow. It's super critical to get your soil tested. She worked with Utah State University faculty to get the conditions just right. Changing is very, very hard. Victoria Shong educates landowners about more efficient practices. We actually have data to back it up, it's like saying with this elevation 5,000 feet and this dryness we have. If you do a traditional sprinkler system in a hot day that's over 95 degrees, you will lose approximately 80% of the water. She says the threat of losing water is on the line, but growing different kinds of crops comes with risks. Well, so this is current. Uh, Rancher Matt Red understands uh, why some producers may be hesitant to try new crops. There's not one silver bullet that's going to help us create a solution for the changing world. Last fall, he started a project testing Kernza. It's an alternative forage crop. Red says the grain uses less water, and it's a perennial, so it doesn't need to be replanted each year. Less time with machinery, so less, less fossil fuels, and then less water. He says its long roots makes it more drought tolerant. They're still tracking this pasture to determine if Kernza can be a reliable option in the long run. We felt good about the success rate, but we want to see what the if we improve that by doing a spring planting. The goal is to keep farmers working and keep food on Utah's tables. You already have um, agricultural producers, whether they're farmers or ranchers, looking for alternatives. Reporting for KSL 5 News, Shelby Lofton. Shelby, thank you. This story is part of the Colorado River Collaborative, featuring work from journalists all across the state. You can check out more stories about water issues impacting Utah on our website, ksltv.com.